Hi there, Kingfish's parents. It's Mr. Perry here. Um, usually, of course, uh, this time of the year, first half term, we'd have been given the opportunity to, to do some questions and answers and me give some information that will help uh, in our usual meet the teacher. Um, so I'm going to try and do it through video this time. Um, firstly, I would just like to say how wonderful it's been to have the children back. Um, they've been great at picking up all of the routines um, that have changed, um, whether it's new playground zones or new layout um, to our classroom. They, they've been fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I just want to go through a few things that will ho hopefully answer any, any burning questions maybe that you've already had. Um, if you do have any, though, please just, if you were to email the office, uh, the questions would come to myself. Um, that's the best way to contact me, really, if, if I then needed to telephone call um, you back. Um, that would be absolutely welcomed. I would say it's an open door policy, but we can't have the parents coming in. So please just ask if, if you've got any queries. Um, firstly, I'd like to mention um, like times tables in, in year four. Times tables um, are, are quite a big deal, quite a big thing. Um, times table rock stars will continue this year. Um, but one thing I have mentioned, I've spoken to the children about if some of them would like the request of maybe like a bit of a restart so that they can just really consolidate all of their times table knowledge and be able to recall them um, is the main year four objective. Um, the government do plan to, to follow through uh, their plans for an assessment, which would include a, a tablet or laptop, and they would have to try their best to recall all of their times tables up to uh, 12 times 12. So times table rock stars, I will try and send out an individual message, to be honest. Um, and if those that do want to, to restart, just ask, but keep that going. It's a fantastic resource that lots of local schools use. Um, one of the main questions I get is either from the children or some parents saying, my child's been on this same times table for quite a while. And the whole idea is the more you practice, the, the quicker you get. The recall comes and the, the game sorts itself out. The, um, they move only the children on when they're ready to do so. So lots of times table practice will be absolutely fantastic. Um, spellings um, on the uh, curriculum map um, side of things and the curriculum web that we've already shared. Um, spellings, will, individual spellings, we will try our best to happen on a, on a Friday. Um, of course, staffing, um, that can impact it a little bit, but we will really try our best to give them enough time to practice and then they'll go through some individual spellings. Um, at first, um, we'd, we're making it really individual, following little quizzes and their writing that they've already done at the early stages of the year. But eventually, I really want to be working towards um, using the year four and year three statutory spelling lists, so lower key stage two, and having the opportunity to, to practice those spellings in a dictation format. Um, so you may well see that some of the spellings that you might have thought, oh, my child was practicing that spelling maybe at the back end of year three, but really we're gonna move on to that dictation where the children have to write for a bit longer period of time and they have to apply that spelling um, within writing with a bit more stamina. So that's one thing we're, we're working on as a school really. Um, a usual thing that I mentioned at Meet the Teacher, a real big thing that I really try and push in year four, based on the fact that um, very soon, at the end of the year, they will be moving on in, into year five and into a new setting. So the thing I always mention that I always try and push is independence. So you may well have noticed, oh, maybe my child hasn't hasn't brought their jumper back. And it's because it's maybe on their chair or on their peg. Um, I'm really trying to encourage the children to, to look after and sort out their own belongings. And um, that's one way. That, that I'll do it is that if they have left their jumper on their chair, I'll just encourage them to try and remember it themselves. But what I can't be doing, what I won't do um, in order to get them ready for year five is be handing jumpers out. Um, so really try and speak to them about making sure that they use their book bags or bags really effectively um, is one thing that you can do. Um, it's, it would be really amazing to see um, as many children even carrying their own stuff as a starter point, really coming into school. Um, of course, if they're on bikes or scooters, it can change a little bit, but encourage them to carry their own belongings, encourage them to, to leave school and carry their stuff, most of their stuff, all the way home even. That would just show real signs of a mature year four um, pupil. So just lots of encouragement for as much independent stuff would be amazing. Um, 
on to do, 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 residential, I normally mention. Um, a usual traditional um, event that we do in year four is our residential. And I can confirm that we, we, we are continuing to, to look at that. Of course, we've got restriction, stri restrictions and things in place um, for like this, this term, really, that's a definite. But being that the residential is, is the other side of Christmas into some of our other terms, we have still that booked and in place. I would normally have invited all the parents to come in and run a PowerPoint to give lots of information. If anyone needs information and wants to, to talk via telephone, that would be that would be absolutely fine. Um, but um, I'll try and get as some more information out really soon. I'm working with our finance department on the, the, the fact that we can start maybe some instalments so that at least uh, financially um, we can try and do it over a, a longer period of time rather than one hit really. So residential is something that we do still hope to do. Um, that's all from me for now. I don't want to go on too long. Um, we will try to keep communication as best possible. Um, it's lovely to see so many of you and see the children come back really, really amazing. Um, you know where I am if you need anything. Um, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.